back to the final conclusion of the Red Jack Let's Play. Last time, Blackbeard ran out that way with a couple of Spanish dudes following him, and Anne was taken by Marquez this way. So first off, we're going to go save Anne. Because she is probably in the most danger. Yeah, I would say so. She's about to get eaten by a squid. Let's see if we can stop that, though. Open the door. Uh-oh. Uh, close the door. Ha <laughs> ha. Now let's see you fight. Back. Can't fight very well with... Well, you can block well, pretty, I guess, but you can't fight very well. I think I just need to keep hitting him. Seems to be able to block everything. Like, knock him out or something. Hello. There we go. Ha. <laughs> Nick, hurry, blow the horn. Right. I know that scream from something. I think they use it a lot in a lot of different games. Let's see how he likes the squid. But that hurt, and that's that seems justified. Nick, go help Blackbeard. Don't worry about me. Just go ahead. Righto. Considering all the arms that he took off people for whatever reason, it seems fitting that he lost his own arm in the end. What? Oh, yeah, she got here fast. Here fighting on this bridge. I think I know a way to easily deal with this. Bye, Spanish dudes. You saved my life again, Nick. What well, now? We've got to take care of those ships in the harbor. We used to have some old defenses up on the hill. I wonder if any of them are still operational. Yes. We'll send those dogs to the devil by way of a cannonball. <laughs> Go on, no time to spare. So now we need to try and take out these ships. There's one. Oh. I think we have some help. From Lyle. He was apparently loading the cannons himself. And that would be the end of the Spanish dudes. And Marquez. And the creepy guy's back. What? Hello! Who are you, old man? Seriously. Old man? I can't believe you don't recognize me, my friend. Perhaps you're all finding this patch on me eye to be confusing. It's Red Jack. Yes. Did you think I'd miss my own victory party? Edward, my friend, I am proud to say that I taught the infamous Blackbeard the ways of the sea. 
and turned him into the devil he is today. And I never blamed you for what we thought happened to Marquez. But let none of you speak again the name of the traitor, for he does not deserve to appear in my legend. It's been good to see you again, brother. And, my girl, I wish we had more time. Keep these rat bags out of trouble. And as for you, young Nicholas, you have been the hand of my revenge, and to you goes the captain's share of the treasure. Why me? No one ever explained that. I lift my curse, and hope my gold brings you good fortune. Beware of the spell that gold casts upon men. Don't let it take you down as it did me. Take care of my Anne. Fair winds, my brothers. Scrub. But it's Captain Scrub now, ain't it? <laughs> It's a damn good thing I taught you how to fight. It was a fine piece of work getting rid of that Marquez. Can't believe it was him that done all the betraying. You're quite a hero. I was quaking in me bare feet when that beastie came up out of the sea. I ain't never seen a thing like that. I tell you me giant squid joke. But I got to get to the keg for them bastards drink it all. Thank God, your you last joke was terrible. We got years and years together. Wonderful. You'll hear all me funny jokes. Great. Over and over and over again. I'll be seeing you shortly. What are your plans now? Pirate life, I guess. Well, Nick, I have to tell you, I think the days of piracy are numbered. Well, that isn't to say that there won't always be some kind of new business opportunities for a man like yourself. You've got to make your own world the way you want it. You and Anne are welcome at my fortress any time. But you know we hang people we catch pirating in our territory. <laughs> well, Nick. Imagine me thinking you'd never amount to anything. You yeah, saved all of us. Yes, I did. Thank you. So... Tell me, are you still in love with Elizabeth? No, she was incredibly annoying. Then you won't mind if I ask her to marry me. Um, she was annoying. I don't care. Well, those Spaniards really destroyed Lizard Point when they came looking for you. I want to go back and rebuild things. Plus, Elizabeth has given me the title to the farm, so I finally own something of my own. I just have to hope that she feels the same way about me that I do about her. I'm going to go ask her right now. Thanks for everything. Nick, I wanted to speak to you. I want to thank you for what you did. Perhaps you thought me pushy when I asked you to leave Lizard Point for me. Who could have known all this was going to happen? Who could have thought you would be one of the brethren? Actually, I recognized your potential. I'm sure you did. What are you going to do now? Now Jake and I are going back to Lizard Point. They burned most of it down, so we intend to rebuild it exactly the way we want it. You could come too, if you like. No, thank you. Well, I don't blame you. Everyone told me Your to leave. Your life is completely different and exciting now. But I've had enough excitement to last me a lifetime. You'll come and visit us, won't you? Yes. Oh, good. Sure, why I not? I hope you're not too upset about Jake and me. What? We're getting married. That was incredibly fast. Uh, does he know about this? Not yet, but he will. Goodbye, Nick. Great. Well, Nicholas, you have come a long way from the nervous young man I met in this point. I advised you to learn to defend yourself, and you did. Even against the devil himself, it seems. I sense a bit of the hand of Urzuli in this. In fact, I think I can hear her laughing somewhere. Where will you go now? I'll go by the sequel. Apparently, or 
I guess I should say sadly, they never made one. Uh, I got a ship. You want to be my weatherman? With pleasure, Nicholas. Please come tear me away from the sacred pipe when you are ready to sail. Well, Nick, I found my father and saw him avenged. You got your revenge and your treasure and the legacy of the greatest pirate who ever lived. It's a happy ending. I hope you'll let me sail with you from now on. Sure, why not? I don't want to go back home. What would I do for excitement? So, just consider it. And tell me what you think after we get the treasure. All right, Captain Dove. It's gold we want, and gold we shall have. Overboard with you lazy scoundrels, and bring up our treasure! The uneasy shade of the Pirate King is gone. He leaves his space in this world for the one whom fate says will be even greater. And that will be about it for this game, guys. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. This pattern of the cards is picked up, shuffled, and ready to be dealt again. They made other other games sort of like this one. Cyberflix did. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones, but the other ones are pretty good too. And maybe one day I'll play those. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and goodbye.